It has to be handled locally first. We're running out of time. We've got to make sure our victims have clear access to law enforcement support at any time of domestic violence. If we have to step in legislatively, we're all aware of that long process to get something passed in the law. What our real goal is here is to get Narstown back to the table. Let's change this ordinance for a third time. Let's all work together. Let's get it right so that we can get rid of the thugs in the town and the rental properties, but yet we still protect the rights of our victims and give them the access to law enforcement that they absolutely deserve. It's unintended consequences for her, where there's criminal activity in the house that she is in. She becomes a victim of an assault. And also, it's unintended consequences with this ordinance. There's no way council sat down and said, we want to punish victims of domestic violence. They are tired of the frustrations of the crime on the streets and our crime-ridden rental properties. We get that. But we want to make sure we revisit this, make sure that none of our victims become an unintended uh, consequence.